What up, what up, world? This decent back with another pop dust exclusive. And my guest at this time, to you, he may be unknown, but he also has a destination that's unknown because that's the name of his project that he just released, Destination Unknown. If you not keep it up, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, give it up for the one, the only, Maurice Moore. Woo! How you doing, bro? Amazing, brother. So Thanks. this is actually me and Maurice's second time meeting because he's the featured guest on our sponsor show, We Shout Over Chuck. Shout out to Jameer, shout out to Just Natasha, and got a little bit lit off the Sauvignon Blanc, bro. I know, and I know. A little flush in the oh, face. Oh man, my face was all kinds of red. I don't know, I, was, I think I was a red alien <laughs> that day. <laughs> but you know, he got a little bit lit, got a little bit turned up because we celebrate in the release of his project, Destination Unknown. Yes, sir. My brother, phenomenal body of work. Thank you. you know I'm saying, so what's the reception been like since dropping? It's been, it exceeded my expectations by far. You know, like people have really connected to this one, I can tell in a personal way. And that was definitely the goal of this project. I really wanted to show people, you know, that personal side of me and bring them into my life a little bit. So I'm pretty excited. I think the fan favorite right now is probably between One Night Stand and Cherry Bomb. So it was actually two of my favorites as well. Oh, uh, dope, dope. So you produce everything except one song, right? Yep, yep. I produce on everything. So I produce Slide On Me in its entirety. Um, Cherry Bomb, I co-produced with a guy named Julia Lewis, incredible Bay Area producer. Um, and then the rest was pretty much, yeah, it was pretty much me and just messing around and having fun with it. Awesome, awesome. So this is actually your second project, right? This is my second project, yeah. Yeah, tell us a little bit about your first one for those who may not be familiar. So my first one was called The Amber Room, and that was sort of kind of me documenting, you know, my late teens and um, kind of the experiences that I was going through at that time in my life. And it's a, it's a little more lighthearted than, than Destination Unknown. It's a little more fun, a little more bouncy. So, you know, as we get closer to the springtime, that's probably going to be the vibe that you want to listen to. But, um, yeah, it's still, it's still great records, still great music. And it's a good place to start. And I think you'll really be able to appreciate the growth if you listen to that before you get into the Destination Unknown as well. Oh, dope, dope, dope. So, speaking of growth, what was your mindset going into Destination Unknown? Because you kind of had, you know, this base to go off with the Amber Room and now pretty sure with you being you know of age at least you know when it comes to the states you know yeah. you've experienced a lot of things like you said the first project was you documented your teenage years now you're pretty much a man for all intents and purposes yeah, what yeah. was the psyche going into destination unknown um destination unknown my, my, my biggest biggest goal was you know to not overthink it i think with the amber room you know i was younger and i was more you know, hyper aware of other people's opinions of my, my of my music and my craft. But this time, you know, that wasn't really in my train of thought. I was like, I don't care what anybody has to say. I just want to create something that's authentic and real to me. And so, you know, creating it, I was just going in and having fun. It was just me and the homies really mostly just creating at the crib. And we actually rented out a cottage on, a, on this lake. And that's why the music kind of sounds the way it does, very organic very you know natural sounding because that's that's the environment that we were in when we made it so yeah that's dope man and you definitely pop it to be renting places out to record some music <laughs> i remember i had to shut up because my boy's mom had came home and she had a long day so we had <laughs> Turn to, it down. To, yeah exactly like no more hip-hop after nine but <laughs> yeah, yeah but it's dope that you know not only did you cultivate a sound but you were in a location that helped you kind of cultivate a sound i feel like that's kind of like the wave as far as oh. making music these days like yeah when you just like lock in in like a remote location and just you know get to work with the homies it is the way right? it was inspired because you know a, a big part of my career was also writing for other artists and that's really how I started getting my name out there in the industry and like you know building on my resume and putting some money in the business account so it allows us to do stuff like that I would get flown out to a bunch of writing camps to write for a bunch of artists and one of them was in Nicaragua crazy super lit also the first time I ever got drunk amazing time um, but yeah, that's really what gave me the, that inspiration. We were in the middle of the jungle, like writing songs, and it was like, okay, I need to make my, my project like this. We had a stunt dogs in Nicaragua <laughs> getting lit, writing hits. You know what I'm saying? You <laughs> know what I'm saying? And speaking of writing for other people, what's that whole transition since been like? Because you have a lot of people who work behind the scenes, you know, yep. ghostwriting or, you know, being credited writers, but they want to make the transition into being a full blown artist, and oftentimes, 
it does work out because you have you know your success stories like Neo, and oftentimes it doesn't. So, yeah. what do you think was the key to your success in order for you to become a successful artist in front of the camera, so to speak? So, I mean, for me, I never really saw lines between the different roles in music. Mm -hmm. I always did all of them from the moment I started. It was always I was writing the song. I was, you know, even when I wasn't very good, I was messing around making the beats. So. It was very unified and very uniform to me to do all of it. I think the key is really exactly that mindset. You have to do all of it all the time, simultaneously exercise all those muscles. The moment you start to put yourself into a box like, I'm a songwriter or I'm an artist, then you kind of change the narrative in your own mind. Mm -hmm. I have to be an artist, I can't do anything else. But just, just do what you want, do what you love, period. Exactly, like case in point, me. I was just a rapper at one point. Now, I'm sitting in an interview and finding individuals like, a young brother right here. <laughs> now I'm saying, now I'm saying. So, with R&B, and I say this in the most, you know, complimentary sense, kind of going through this resurgence in yeah. the last few years, because for a long while we were kind of tipping the scales when it sounded more and more like other genres of music than, you know, yeah, yeah. pure R&B that a lot of us are accustomed to hearing. Why do you think at this point in time, R&B is making this resurgence and getting back to its roots? Um, I think right now it's just, you know, people are actually making a lot of great music. I think for a period of time, you know, there's like a dark period of R&B where like people weren't really singing anymore and like too much auto-tune and it just kind of got weird. Right. I think now people are just realizing, you know, they can be themselves. They don't have to be like an artist that they're not or try to sound like what's on the radio. So you're just hearing a lot more artists like myself, like her, like Daniel Caesar. Like, you know, there's tons there's another tons fellow Canadian by the way. Another fellow Canadian. Shout out Daniel Caesar. Um, yeah, there's just a lot of people really, you know, putting themselves out there and being raw with it and being themselves. So I think we're gonna see a lot more of that as people realize, you know, there's no boxes. Just be yourself and be who you are and that's that's completely cool. And I think as a songwriter, you know, it kinda lends itself to, you know, whatever it is that you can do behind the scenes with your pen because now that this sound is becoming more and more prevalent, you're gonna yeah. have people who want those records now. So Absolutely. it kind of lends itself to, you know, people like yourself who, you know, mighty, mighty dope with the pen. Yeah. So, you know, like you said, you know, not be confined to just one idea and one concept of what it is to be an artist. And it's kind of like meshing a little bit and being a little bit more creative with other artists. Exactly, absolutely, man. Yeah. So, man, what's coming up next for you? Project is out. Yep. It's getting a lot of great feedback. What's on the horizon? Do we got videos? Do we got tours? Do we got baby mamas? Like, what, what's up, man? We definitely got we definitely got the videos on the way. Um, we got the tour also coming up. Um, I'll be announcing those dates soon. Um, lots of new music. 2019. My my biggest ambition is just to to release more music more than I ever have and experiment with more sounds. So expect more music. Hopefully, no baby mamas. Maybe a girlfriend. Maybe if you're out there, slide in the DMs. Let's you know. Um, yeah, but uh, just just more content, more music, more everything. Awesome, awesome. Well, Maurice, brother, thank you for stopping by, man. It's been a pleasure seeing you again. Where do people find you out on social media? Instagram is at Maurice Moore. On Twitter, it's Maurice underscore X I I I, and it's just Maurice Moore for everything else. So yeah. Like he said, ladies, slide those DMs. Don't know what's up. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> Once again, this has been decent with another pop that's exclusive. Give it up for our guest Maurice Moore. His project Destination Unknown is out now on all streaming platforms. Make sure you follow us on all social media at Pop Dust. Make sure you visit our website popdust.com. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube. Make sure you click the little bell to be notified of brand new content. And we will see you soon. Peace.